Today, I'm busting three popular myths about squats. Squats are one of the best exercises you can do, but there's a lot of confusion out there. So let's clear up three big myths that might be holding you back, okay? Myth one, there's a perfect feet separation position. A lot of people think there is an exact way to position your feet or squats, but here's the truth. There's no one size fits all. Your foot placement should be what's most comfortable for your body and what gives you the best range of motion. Everyone's hips and body mechanism are different, so don't stress out about trying to match someone else's form perfectly. Experiment and find what works best for you. Myth number two, you can't do a posterior pelvic tilt when you go down. Now, I know you've probably heard that your pelvis needs to stay perfectly neutral. But a little bit of posterior pelvic tilt at the bottom of the squat is completely natural and it's okay. As long as it's not excessive and you're maintaining good control, that small tilt won't hurt you and might even help you to get a deeper squat. So don't be afraid of it. Just keep it in check. Myth number three, your knees can't go past your toes. This one is a classic myth. But guess what? It's totally natural for your knees to pass your toes during a squat especially if you're taller or have long legs like me. Your knees will naturally pass your toes, and that's not a bad thing. Letting your knees move forward allows you for a better range of motion and a more comfortable squat. The key is to control the movement and keep everything aligned properly. So there you have it, three big squat myths busted. Remember, the perfect squat isn't about rigid rolls. It's about what feels best for your body while you're still being safe and effective. Keep practicing, experiment with your form, and keep crushing those workouts. And if you're ready to start your journey with Dow BS you see out there, drop coaching in the comments, and I'll personally send you the details on how to get started.